and I came here and saw the house, but it was walking into this old schoolhouse and seeing the, the space, the light. The minute I walked in here, I thought, this is it. You know, it was just one of those serendipitous types of things that rarely occur, but you just knew it straight away that this was the place to do it. So it turns out this, uh, this was the Kanama schoolhouse and the house itself was the uh, teacher's residence. And uh, this and about two hectares of land. So I uh, bought it and that's where I've been for the last 13 years. I've uh, had art sort of bubbling around the background for, since I was a kid. I wanted to work in this area because I'd, during the research part of my work with Syrah, I had spent a lot of time in the local forests, these alpine ash forests, hardwood ones in Bago and Moragal State Forest. So nearly two years field work and walking all over the forest. So it was that um, that caused me to think you know, there's some really interesting features about these forests, the trees, the rocks, the algae on the rocks, the lichens, such as in the painting behind me, that I thought, well, I'm going to concentrate on this for a while, and I did for the first couple of years. Then I did a series of paintings on uh, Kosciuszko after doing a series of summer hikes in various locations, and, um, and the Kosciuszko paintings were pa basically the first major exhibition I had after leaving uh, Canberra. And then I started a series on the cast country, which again featured the limestone landscapes in Kosciuszko, Blue Waterholes, Urangabilly areas. And that was the, another major exhibition in 2013. And in 2015, the exhibition was based on high country waterfalls. And that's when I looked at, again, a series of waterfalls in this region. And uh, so it's been very much a focus on this alpine, subalpine country. My preference has been for cooler climates. And, and so yeah, my idea would be somewhere cool with a reasonable rainfall. <laughs> which this is about one of the few, well, it's the only place in New South Wales where that criteria uh, can be found really. Um, but mostly this has been a sort of anchor for me. It's the place I can always you know, go out in the bush and find something interesting to paint.